Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to upload designs to advanced products on Redbubble. When uploading your designs to Redbubble, you'll notice a section with a few products that are a bit more tricky to add designs to. This includes products like duffel bags, backpacks, leggings, fitted masks, and more. These are the advanced products and require a little more attention than standard products. For these more difficult products, Redbubble has provided us with some very helpful templates to help us add our designs to the products. Once you download the Redbubble product templates, they can be used to create designs that will fit correctly on the product print areas. To edit and add product designs to the templates, we'll be downloading and using the free photo editor GIMP. GIMP is a powerful editing tool that I've used for years and will allow you to easily edit the Redbubble product templates. So to get started, let's head over to Redbubble and take a look at the advanced products. To check out the advanced products, let's head over to the uploads page. So as you can see, the advanced products includes things like leggings, socks, backpacks, duffel bags, and face masks. The print areas for these products are unique and some even have multiple print areas. Your typical t-shirt design won't work for these products, but luckily, Redbubble provides us with some really useful templates that we can use to create designs for advanced products. If you click the download the templates link up top here, you'll be taken to a page where you can download templates for the advanced products and other difficult products on Redbubble. They're actually stored on Google Drive, which makes them super easy to download and use. So as an example, let's create a design for one of the hardest products in my opinion, the duffel bag. When you select a product, it'll open up the folder so you can view the template. So let's click the duffel bag template and see how it looks. The product template will look exactly how the edit screen looks for the product on Redbubble. As you can see, the duffel bag has multiple unique print areas, so the design we create for this won't work with other products. So let's go ahead and download the template so we can use it to create our design. There we go. So now that we've downloaded the Redbubble product template, let's go over how to edit the template using GIMP. As a free photo editor, GIMP is just as powerful as other more expensive editing programs. I've been using GIMP for years and it's always performed perfectly for creating designs. So now let's download GIMP and put everything together. So first, let's start by heading over to the GIMP website at GIMP.org. Here's where you can download GIMP, which is a free and open source image editor. On the top banner, you should see a download button. Let's click that now. Here's where you can download the latest version of GIMP for whatever device you're using. GIMP is constantly making cool updates and it looks like the latest version is 2.10.32. Before you download, make sure you have the correct device selected. I'm currently using a Mac, so I'm gonna click the button on the right here to download GIMP directly. Go ahead and download the GIMP file to your computer. And once it's finished, go ahead and open it up and follow the installation process. Once you've installed the GIMP photo editor, go ahead and open it up. So here's the current version of the GIMP photo editor. After you open up GIMP, you can add the template by going up to File, then going down to Open as Layers. I can then find and open up the duffel bag template that I just downloaded. There we go. So here's the duffel bag template with three separate print areas that we can design. For my duffel bag, I'm just going to create a simple design using my Quantum Designs logo. If you're a beginner and need help creating awesome designs for your products, make sure you click my link in the video description to unlock your free trial of Canva Pro. With Canva Pro, you can access thousands of professional t-shirt design templates that you can easily customize any way that you like. You can also export your designs with transparency to add to your products, access the entire Canva library of images and graphics, unlock the background remover tool, and tons of other awesome features to help you build and grow your brand. To try Canva Pro for free, head over to jasongandy.org and click the Unlock Canva Pro button, or simply go to the link in the video description. So now that you have an easy way to add designs to your products, let's head back over to GIMP and go over how to add our design to the advanced product template. I'll be adding a design to all three print areas, so let's go ahead and open up the first one. To add a design, let's do the same thing that we did with our template and go up to File, then open as layers. I can now find and upload the image that I want to use for my first print area. There we go. The two circle print areas at the bottom are the sides of the duffel bag and I think that's where I'm going to add this logo. So let's resize the image so it'll fit nicely inside the round print area. To do this, let's select the image, then look at the menu on the left hand side 
and click on the resize icon. Now when you select your image, you'll see a toolbox pop up where you can edit your image size. Go ahead and use the boxes on the corners of the image to resize it as needed. And when you're ready, click the center of the image and move it to the correct location. I'm actually going to be using the same image for both print areas at the bottom. So let's make sure we take note of the dimensions here in the toolbox. Once your image is in the correct location and the correct size, make sure you click on scale to save your changes. And as a quick note, when adding your designs, make sure you stay within the print areas, which means you can't go outside the little checkered patterns here. So now that I've added my design to the first print area, let's add the same design to the next one. Just like before, let's go up to file, open as layers and open my image. I can now resize and rearrange my image to fit inside the print area at the bottom right. To make sure the left image is the exact same size as the right image, let's go up to the toolbox and make sure the height and the width are the same as the other image. Now that I know that they're both the same size, let's move the image down to the center of the circle. Once you've resized and rearranged your image, make sure you go up to the toolbar and click on scale. Now that I've finished with the bottom two print areas, let's open up the design I created for the top print area. For the duffel bag template, the top and the bottom of the top layer here will actually print on both sides of the bag. So just like before, let's go up to file, open as layers, and open up the design I want to use for the top print area. There we go. If you look closely at the print area, you can actually see two vertical lines going down the sides. These represent where the straps for the duffel bag will go. With this in mind, don't put your design over the lines if you don't want them to be covered with the straps. For the duffel bag, the top of the print area here will display the front of the bag and the bottom of the print area will display the back of the bag. To add my design to both the front and the back, I'm going to put my design here up top between the straps for the front and for the bottom of the print area, which will be the back of the bag, I'm going to add the same image, but this time I'm going to have to flip it so it'll have the correct orientation. To do this, let's right click the image, go down to layer, go down to transform, and then click on flip vertically. And voila, my image has been flipped, but when it's added to my duffel bag, it'll be the back of the bag and actually be right side up. When you flip your image, you may have to adjust the location a bit. And there we have it. I think that's a good example design to use for my duffel bag on Redbubble. But before we can export, we'll have to get rid of the template so it's not displayed when we upload our design. The template is actually just a separate layer, which can be accessed down here on the right hand side menu. Go ahead and find your template layer and click the little eyeball icon here to hide it. As you can see, the duffel bag template has now been removed. Now that that's done, we can now export our design. To export our design, let's go up to file, then go down to export as. You can then name your design, select the file location, then click on save. You'll then see another box pop up here with some various options, but go ahead and just click on export. GIMP will then start exporting your new design, and once it's finished, it'll be saved to your device. So now that it's finished exporting, let's head back over to Redbubble and upload my new design to my duffel bag. Of course, go ahead and fill out your title, tags, and your description. And since we created a design specifically for the duffel bag, we're gonna disable all the other products. If you take a look at how the design looks on the other products, you can see why we're going to disable them. When creating advanced products, you're not using generic designs. You're creating designs specifically for that product using the templates, so you'll have to disable all the other products. Now that that's done, we can now check out my duffel bag. Let's click on the edit button. As you can see, the template allowed us to create a design that's perfect for the duffel bag. Feel free to go ahead and select your colors, adjust your prices, and when you're ready, go ahead and click on apply changes. Make sure your advanced product is the only one that's enabled. Fill out the rest of your publishing settings, then go down and click on save work. Your new work should then start uploading. And once it's finished, it should be published to the Redbubble marketplace. So here's my new duffel bag that I just created. Let's click the three dots here and go to the product page to check it out. And voila, I've just published an advanced product to my Redbubble shop. As you can see, using the template helped me get all of my designs in the correct location. The advanced products are definitely a bit more tricky to create, but using the templates, you can come up with some cool designs and give your customers something they'll love. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.